Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. Too many chart analysts are saying the same thing about XRP for me to not notice. This doesn't normally happen, folks. That's why I'm bringing it up. I talked about it just yesterday. XRP analysts, like, they really are saying about the same damn thing. Not that all of the analysts that I follow that talk about XRP are saying it's going to go to the exact same price or agree 100% on the same timeline, but uh, all at once. There's a lot of analysts. I highlighted five of them in a video just about 24 hours ago that said, hey, just so you know, this thing's about to pop. And I even mentioned, too, because what, like, one of the most well-known ones in the XRP community in terms of uh, chart analyzation would be my fellow XRP YouTuber, the blockchain backer. And at, at that time, I said, look, uh, I don't know if he said something. I could have missed it. I'm on vacation. I still am, actually, until uh, Sunday. But um, I, I said, look, he, he, he could have said something I'm unaware of. And um, I could have just missed it, but I actually did catch his latest video, and it looks like he's saying some very similar things, actually, that some of the others are in terms of XRP being primed, at least. In fact, here's the quote from him. I'll just tell you here at the outset of the video. This market is primed for an XRP blast off. That's a quote from the blockchain backer. Don't mind hearing that. I like hearing that. That sounds pretty gosh darn good. But again, I'm hearing that from a ton of different analysts, so add them to the pile. Add them all to the pile, because each analyst, I get it, they're humans, and they're awesome. But they're also data points. Their opinions are data points. You can plot this stuff. And I'm just telling you that historically, what I've seen, at least over the last 12 months, is that when you get this big a number of analysts saying about the same thing is likely to happen, it happens. So I don't know exactly what that means. It doesn't mean it's always going to happen. I'm not 100% sold on it, but neither are they. So that should be fine, right? We're talking about probability of outcomes, but it sure as hell is interesting. So I've got just a few things to highlight here. I'm going to try to keep this video somewhat brief. Got a busy day of vacationing tomorrow. So, you know, got to, got to do me, all right? <laughs> but before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not ever under any circumstance, buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related stuffs, plural, uh, but just as a hobby and just just for fun. As I record, this XRP is at $1.17, Bitcoin at $61,312, market cap for the asset class just under $2.8 trillion, and Bitcoin dominance declining, at least for now, 41.39%. It's been quite a ride. Uh, you know, just the other day we saw XRP as high as a buck twenty-six, and uh, you know what? I'll just highlight this now. Um, chart analyst Harry, I'll tell you what. Amazing what this guy called last market cycle. Absolutely phenomenal. He called the beginning of the run of XRP from uh, low twenty cent region up to almost four bucks, and uh, he called the top two, the very tippy top on January fourth, two thousand eighteen, when XRP was a bit shy of four dollars. He said, looks like uh, time for things to cool down. And he was absolutely correct. And there was this tweet that I actually missed on November 2nd. Uh, and uh, he was talking about how uh, basically t at that point in time anyway, today or tomorrow, uh, XRP looks like it's it's kind of primed for a technical breakout. And not that the technical breakouts only ha always happen, and he cited that in the tweet as well. Uh, but then there was a breakout, and he ended up tagging me here, which is why I saw this. I, I, I actually didn't, I just happened to have missed it, this tweet, when he put it out on November 2nd. But I certainly noticed that the price of XRP went up <laughs> not, not much later, which I guess was, here, what's the date? Let's take a look. It was, uh, wow, the next day. Well, how about that? What do you know? Harry was right again, and it did jump up, because XRP was at about a buck ten, and just the next day got up to about a buck twenty-six, actually. Interesting, right? Uh, and so anyway, I'm glad he tagged me there. Um, I just I just happened to have missed that uh, that particular um, uh, tweet that he put out there about it. But yeah, that actually happened here. Um, and, and so, and, and look, mind you, he wasn't talking about he he's not one of the analysts that has said yeah this thing's about to blow. I'm I'm talking about on the whole, like when I made that video yesterday, what I'm talking about today. Yeah, a lot of analysts saying okay, yes, this thing's about to go. I haven't seen him quite say that. He was talking about in the short term. A particular just short-term burst effectively here but then you do have Leb crypto here let's talk about big picture what are reasonable price expectations and I just find this fascinating just as much as you do I'm not an analyst myself I don't want to learn how to do that stuff I think it's much more enjoyable to just follow what's going on in crypto in terms of news from a day-to-day -day basis understanding fundamentals 
all that jazz. That's much more engaging to me, at least. Everybody's wired differently. Uh, but uh, Leb Crypto here, being that he is an analyst, uh, he's put out some targets here, some expectations for XRP, and I just wanted to share it with you, and it'll be fun to just come back, uh, whether, you know, right or wrong. And it's, uh, by the way, I'm going to be clear, actually, too. The analysts, anything that they get wrong, d be a human about it. Like, don't be rude to people that are gutsy enough to, like, <laughs> you know, put their neck on the line and say, here's what I think is probable to happen. Not with certainty, but even just probable. There's no reason to, and I don't think most of you would be, but there's always a small percentage of people that'll just be jerks if somebody's wrong about this or that. I'm just like, damn. Like, the analysts I follow, they're mostly correct. So when they do get something wrong, it's like, chill, bro. It's, it, it's, it's comes to be okay. That's what I'm saying here. But look at these levels here. It is interesting to see, and it'll be fun to go back and look and see who got a bunch of stuff right and who got a bunch of stuff wrong. Not a rude way, but just to cover it. And so here's what Love Crypto wrote, Stairway to the Moon. And there are a number of lines here. The first line is $1.68 to $1.76. That's the first target. Next, $1.96. Second target for XRP. Next, $2.30. Next, $2.77. Next, $3.40. Next, $8.10. Next, $13. And that's the seventh target, $13 even. And then, if the target ends up getting overshot, as he cites here, $25.77. It's a little bonus target. And they're look honestly, there are a number of analysts that I follow that are way more right than wrong. That's, that's from what I've seen, that really do believe that XRP this market cycle is going to twenty to thirty dollars. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I really don't. I want it just as badly as you, because that would be incredible. <laughs> you know, I really do. Uh, but I gotta tell you, like even some of these lower levels, this is life changing for so many people. Now, he wrote something important here, though. Mark these levels on your chart, pay attention to them, devise a plan. That's important because consider this, nothing goes up in a straight line forever. There will be pullbacks along the way, dramatic pullbacks. Like, it, like even if his plan happens, we'll, we'll see. But there will be dramatic pullbacks. Oh, man, what a crazy time. And don't forget, and I mentioned this in the last video, it's worth repeating, though. You know, look, a year ago, XRP was, here, I'll just pull it up right now. I got the damn chart open. It's probably around 24, 25 cents here. Let's do, nope, 12 months. 12 months is what I want. Here, there we go. If it would finish loading. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so a year ago, <laughs> 24 cents. A year ago, XRP was, uh, or actually go to, uh, here's the sixth, 25 cents. Okay, fine. Whatever. Up over 400%, my friends. Up over 400%. And this was the time, one freaking year ago, when I noticed that there were probably, whatever it was, 8 or 10, whatever it was, analysts that I regularly follow say that, hey, this thing's actually about to go. And now I'm seeing the same thing at about the same point. Uh, well, in terms of, you know, the, the year, it's November again. The same type of messaging. This doesn't always happen. These types of comments from these analysts that I follow do not typically align like this. You tell me if it means something. I, I don't pretend to know for sure. Maybe maybe it's a nothing. I'm paying attention, though, because the, the last three times that I noticed this, I talked about it, and it did mean something. So I'm watching. I'm just as curious as you. Uh, here's a tweet from chart analyst Michael Vandepop. Bitcoin is still on the path to $90,000. We're going to know soon, aren't we? I'm so curious about this, and I think about what Plan B said, too. He's got over 1.3 million followers all up on the Twitters. Man, he's calling for $98,000 Bitcoin as a floor price for the month of November. Now, if that happens, I'm like, okay. This is, like, seriously, if he's right, if, if he's right, I don't, I, I don't even know what to do with that. Because I, the idea of what that means for the price action of XRP, it's beyond what I'm anticipating. It is at this point. I mean, it could happen. I, I, like I say frequently, like I, I try to not rule anything out in crypto in terms of price action. But man, like that is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. That's how you spell that. Just so you, I, I, People are curious. That's why I did that. And then there's this from chart analyst Michael Vandepop. People forget that most altcoins will go back to zero and that you should take profits when you're in them. And so here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to even try to shoot for selling the top of any crypto, including XRP, which does mean that I could sell a substantial portion of my XRP holdings way below whatever it tops, tops at. 
Uh, cool. If that happens, that happens. And you know what? If I sold it, that means I'm really happy with what I got because I've been holding for multiple years. I've never sold a single XRP I've been holding since November of 2017. If it happens, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. But what so many people do is they just get a little bit too greedy or maybe a lot of bit too greedy. I think it's going to keep going and going and going. And then the bubble pops and then it goes way back to the downside. And then you may have like nothing, if anything. Just be careful. I'm not telling you specifically to buy or sell anything. I'm just telling you to be a little bit conscious of that because things happen fast in crypto. Now, I want to talk about this, too, because there's this article that covers analysis from uh, analyst Nicholas Merton, who runs a, a very popular cryptocurrency YouTube channel called Data Dash. Happens to be one of the very first analysts that I ever came across when I jumped into crypto. It was in late 2017 I came across the guy. And I thought he seemed pretty damn sharp, and apparently a lot of other people do as well. That's the reason he's got almost, you know, half a million subscribers, and good for him. More power to him. He happens to not like XRP, so I think that his fundamental analysis and ideological reasons, I think, I, from what I've seen from him, that seems to be why. But that's fine. Um, I don't hate people or look down on people for having opinions different than my own. Uh, given that he's not been a troll about Ripple and he's not been a troll about XRP, then I'm just like, okay, yeah, we just happen to disagree. We can, we could still be friends. He doesn't know who the hell I am, but I'm just saying. That's the way that I, I just handle life in general. I think that's the adult way to approach this. Um, but uh, he's talking about some really big moves for Ethereum this market cycle. And it was interesting even hearing the blockchain backer talk about this in his most recent video. Like he, he he's like he was talking about how he's going to sell his Ethereum. He's I mean I believe he said he sold some already, but um, Ethereum hitting five thousand dollars. It's like yeah, that's that's about my expectation. That that like that's basically what he said. And he didn't rule out though, and he even cited this number, the idea of like. Ethereum this market cycle going to $25,000. Not that he thinks that's going to happen. He didn't say that. But he's like, the odds of that happening or it going to zero, he said, are about the same. Because they're both like outlandish ridiculous. I can respect that for sure. For sure. He doesn't know. I don't know. Cool. Got it. But there are a lot of analysts that do think, including Nicholas Merton, that you're going to see Ethereum this high. And this is interesting to me because... Like Ethereum and XRP, my gosh, they were just jockeying for that number two position back and forth. And Ethereum was in number two position most of that time and fine. But in terms of where each cryptocurrency peaked last market cycle, not that much of a difference, frankly. Whatever it was, I can't remember. Ah, what was it? Like 120 billion each or 180? I honestly can't remember. I'd have to go back and look. It doesn't matter for the sake of this video, but suffice it to say, way, way, way higher than where you're seeing XRP right now. That's for damn sure. And so if these two cryptocurrencies end up, uh, you know, getting anywhere even close to a peak range, even if at different times this market cycle, holy freaking hell, this guy's right here. Um, I don't want to read the article. I just want to get the idea across. But in terms of where XRP is going, I'm sorry, uh, where Ethereum's going, Nicholas Merton says, uh, 20 grand. <laughs> I don't know, crypto's crazy, that's the thing. It's like, you hear a high number, that, that sounds nutso until it happens, so I'm just like, eh. I try to not second guess too many people unless I'm really like, okay, okay, now you've crossed the line, and I don't quite feel that way yet. I don't know if that's going to happen. I really don't know if that's going to happen. But I'll tell you this, if XRP matches the market cap of Ethereum at that level, you're talking about 2.3, uh, tr roughly, I'm, I'm, I'm ballparking here, but $2.3 trillion market cap for Ethereum at 20 grand. You understand, if XRP happens to match that, which it did last market cycle, you're, you're talking about somewhere in the neighborhood of $50 XRP. I'm not expecting that. I am not expecting that this market cycle. I'm Mr. XRP bull. I'm not saying it can't happen. I am not expecting it, though. I'm really not. If we're in that ten to thirteen dollar range, I'm gonna be like, yes, this has been a it's like an incredibly valid use of the last four years of my life. I'll be like, hell yeah, absolutely. But again, if the market goes much higher than this, you hear ten to thirteen dollar XRP, and I'm just thinking, like, why so low? If it's an if, but if the market goes way higher, in general, with Bitcoin leading upwards, I'm like, ten to thirteen dollar XRP. That's it. Mm. So we'll see here. And we're going to find out soon. That's why this is the most exciting time there has ever been to be in crypto as far as I'm concerned. 
it's certainly the most exciting time that I've ever had being in crypto and, and uh, because it's just the anticipation of what is about to come because I feel so certain that it's about here. And I did ride that whole last bull cycle. I just, and, it, and it, don't get me wrong, if that was exciting too, I also had a lot less at stake at the time. I have a lot more at stake now. So even though we haven't hit the very tippity top here, the blow off top, uh, to me, like this is still actually, to be honest with you, it's, it's feeling like more, more incredible to me, more exciting. It's just a subjective point of view, but man, look, just, I, I say this about all sorts of things, all good things in time. And I certainly believe that's applicable here when you're talking about XRP and this blow off top. So uh, look, I never pretend to know anything. Let me know what you think below. I, I would love some feedback on this right here. But I'm again, I'm just noticing something that I've only noticed three other times ever while I've been running this YouTube channel. All of these analysts saying about the same thing about XRP. Is it actually going to be bursting like crazy in the short term? Don't know. Don't know. But I don't normally see this. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon Lambo.